what's going on YouTube. Rob here from Cars and Tech by JDM City. Marshmallow is here and your Nexus device could be ready for it. If you have a Nexus 4, you're uh, kind of out of luck. But uh, if you have a Nexus 6, factory images are posted. For the uh, 5 as well, I think the 7 2013. So today we're going to update your Nexus 6 and the method is the same for all the other Nexus devices to Marshmallow without losing your data using a factory image. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to google.com, type in Nexus factory images, scroll down until you see your device. So for me, I see Nexus 6 Shamu and select the appropriate link for the file that you want. Uh, plug your Nexus 6 or Nexus 5 or whatever you're going to be flashing though into your uh, computer. So use a good quality micro USB cable and we're going to go right into fast boot mode. So to do that, you click on the search icon on the top right corner and type in terminal. Um, you could use DOS for this. Oh, by the way, make sure that you have USB debugging on. That's important. So let's do ADB devices to see if it is running. Okay, so it picked up my device. So ADB re reboot bootloader. So once I did that, it automatically put it into, you know, the bootloader mode. So now my download is finally ready. So you can double click it to extract it or right click extract it. It's gonna put it right into the same folder here. Now that it's extracted, um, let's uh, rename this folder. I'm gonna name it Marsh because it's easier to uh, recognize and it's easier to type. Trust me, that's gonna come in handy. Um, inside here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of uh, files. So rename each one. Um, to just the original first portion of each name. So the bootloader, dash shamu, you, all that stuff you don't need. So just bootloader. Um, you could delete the flash all bad and flash all sh and flash base sh. Those are not gonna be needed for our purposes. Um, extract the next zip file that's in here. So now that our zip folder has been extracted, you could rename the, uh, the folder to maybe other just so it's something small. You don't need the Android info uh, file either. So you just move that to the trash. Okay, so the only things that, the only Im images we're going to flash are uh, bootloader and radio from the Marsh folder. Inside the other folder, boot, cache, recovery, and system. User data you do not, you do not uh, flash. User data is what wipes your data and puts it back to a factory setting. I am going to take the Marsh folder and I'm going to move into my root directory. The reason why I do that is because the way I have my ADB and fast boot uh, situation set up is that I just have to put in the file directory and it goes right to the root. All right, so the first things we're going to flash is the, uh, the bootloader and the radio since they're the first in the folders. So I like to get them out of the way first. So we'll go in and type fast boot flash bootloader and then go into the directory so slash volumes slash storage for terabyte bootloader dot img flash let's uh, reboot the bootloader and now the same thing for the radio so fast boot flash radio and then my my directory reboot dash bootloader so now let's flash the rest of these images uh, we'll type in fast boot flash boot uh, slash volume slash storage uh, for TB marsh other boot dot IMG and we'll flash that one. Next we will flash the cache uh, image uh, fast boot flash cache volume storage uh, marsh other cache dot IMG. Next we'll flash uh, the system fast boot flash system slash volumes storage uh, for terabyte marsh other system.img. This is going to be the longest one, so be patient with it. It's not frozen. Once that one's complete, 
we will uh, flash the recovery uh, image. So fast boot flash recovery and the directory again. Now that this is done, uh, we can uh, reboot the phone. Just type in fast boot reboot and the phone will start up. And the first time it loads, it's going to take a while. But um, let's fast forward and uh, see what happens. So here you have it all booted up, Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Let's uh, dive right into the settings just to show. It's build number uh, MRA58K. And um, they even added us Android security patch level deed, which is uh, something new that I haven't seen before. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one.